Greetings and welcome to Temple Baptist Church in Poplar Bluff, Missouri. This morning I want us to start together with the book of Proverbs. There are so many, many important jewels of wisdom that we find in the book of Proverbs. And so I want us to kind of look at this, uh, this book over the course of the next little while. And I'm going to begin in the beginning, Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 1. The Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel. Wisdom. Oh, how we seem to be starved to death for wisdom in our culture today. I didn't say we're starved to death for knowledge. In fact, there may be more knowledge seemingly that we have learned about uh, more than ever before. But wisdom is something completely different. Knowledge is not the most important thing. Wisdom is by far more important than just possessing knowledge. And wisdom is knowing how to use the knowledge you possess. And so it transcends. It is far greater than just having a bunch of knowledge, a bunch of facts or figures in your mind. And we need wisdom in order to live successfully. And so today we're looking at the pursuit of wisdom. Solomon, divinely inspired by God, penned the words of the book of this uh, prophecy, this uh, string of jewels of learning how to live successfully. And the Bible tells us that all Scripture is given by inspiration of God. And so everything we have here in the book of Proverbs was breathed out by God, and so it works. It's God's Word, and God's Word works for the people who He has created, and that is all of us. But not only is God involved here, but He has a human secretary, if you will, whom He has chosen to share with us these words. And so listen to what it says in 2 Chronicles chapter 1. How do we know that Solomon is worthy of speaking the word of God, the words that God gives him? Well, it says, Now Solomon, the son of David, was strengthened in his kingdom, and the Lord his God was with him and exalted him exceedingly. And then notice what happens. On that night, God appeared to Solomon, and he said to him, Ask, what shall I give you? And Solomon said to God, You have shown great mercy to David my father, and have made me king in his place. Now, O Lord God, let your promise to David, my father, be established. For you have made me king over a people like the dust of the earth in multitude. Now, give me wisdom and knowledge that I may go out and come in before this people. For who can judge this great people of yours? And then God said to Solomon, Because this was in your heart, and you have not asked for riches or wealth or honor or the life of your enemies, nor have you asked long life for yourself, but have asked wisdom and knowledge of yourself for yourself, that you may judge my people over whom I have made you king. Wisdom and knowledge are granted to you, and I will give you riches and wealth and honor, such as none of the kings have had who were before you, nor shall any after you have the like. And so, what a, what a great resource the book of Proverbs is, because the words are from God, and they were sent through the human tool, Solomon, who understood about knowledge and then wisdom on top of that knowledge. And so what great, greater authors we could have. And again, ultimately, the author is God. But Solomon understood what God was showing him as he penned the words of the book of Proverbs. The word proverb literally means a short, pithy saying. I've always heard that word pithy. And it literally means to be full of substance, to be full of substance. And the book of Proverbs, every verse is so chocked full of substance about how we can pursue wisdom. The pursuit of wisdom must begin with humility and selflessness. To first admit that we do not have all the answers already. Because you see, if we feel like we already have enough wisdom, we already have all the answers, we would not have our minds and our hearts open to the truth of how we pursue true godly wisdom. 
And so there's a difference between human wisdom, our ability to use the knowledge that we have, and godly wisdom. That is shared with us in the book of James chapter 3. And let me show you what it says there in James chapter 3. It says, But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, willing to yield, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. And the Bible distinguishes between our wisdom and God's wisdom. We must remember that God is all-knowing. He's smarter than we are, always has been, and always will be. And so, what a pleasure to go to the book of Proverbs and to find what God says about how we can pursue wisdom, not merely knowledge, but knowing how to successfully use that knowledge that we have. So the Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel. We hope that we will be able to travel together as we pursue not what we already know, not the limitations about what we can know, but the unlimited knowledge and wisdom of God. Father, help us to be reminded that we need to humble ourselves Father, we need to recognize the fact that we do not know everything. That human wisdom, human knowledge is not what makes us successful. But Lord, it is your wisdom that brings victory into our lives. And so Lord, as we travel through the pages of the book of Proverbs, guide our thoughts, open our minds, open our hearts, And Father, we pray that you would help us to know, to gain this wisdom that we pursue. Encourage someone today with your word. We ask in Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. I pray you'll have a great day in the Lord.